Hey there, I heard you're looking to get in shape. While there are hundreds of fitness hacks available, a lot of them are bogus. Here are eight weight loss myths you need to know. Is salt actually healthy? Is diet soda as bad as people think? Does green tea really help you lose weight? We're talking all that and more. But first, while it may not burn calories, it doesn't hurt to exercise your mind. Don't forget to watch until the very end and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's talk diet myths. Salt is absolute garbage for you. I say this with confidence. Not true! It's common to hear that salt is unhealthy, but this is a misconception. While it's reasonable to assume considering the best junk foods are loaded with sodium, your body actually needs salt. This might be a weird question, but how do you like your blood? Okay, that came off wrong. I'm just trying to keep your attention. But seriously, do you like having healthy blood? Salt is an essential nutrient that helps control your blood pressure. It's recommended that you consume 2300 milligrams of sodium a day. With that being said, it's easy to overdo it. The average North American is estimated to consume around 3400 milligrams. The next time somebody asks why you're so salty, let them know. Carbs are the devil. Give me a break. Nobody actually talks like that. All right, I don't think people say it in that exact wording, but like salt, carbs are often thought of as poison for your health. In reality, this is also a misconception. Carbohydrates are your body's primary energy source, providing essential fibers. While it's recommended that you consume an average of 225 to 325 grams of carbs per day, those looking to improve their fitness are told to have between 50 and 150 grams. The real shocker is that carb consumption is necessary to lose weight. But keep in mind, it's the type of carbs that matter. If you're just beginning your weight loss journey, make sure you stay away from things like white bread and pasta. Things such as quinoa, oranges, and bananas are good to go. Gluten-free diets are always the answer. Is that supposed to be sarcasm? I've been on a gluten-free diet for close to a year now. I'm seeing results, I think. If you hear someone recommend the gluten-free thing, it's not always a great idea. This might not be what you wanna hear, but I'll just say it. There's no concrete evidence showing that gluten-free diets result in actual weight loss. It does, however, have other health benefits. A gluten-free diet is meant to help those suffering from celiac disease. This is an autoimmune disorder with harmful effects on your lower intestine. One out of every 133 Americans are said to suffer from the disease. That's roughly 1.7 million people. Since their bodies are unable to properly absorb gluten, most people simply cut the protein out of their diet. With that being said, an estimated 2.7 million people who don't have celiac disease also follow a gluten-free meal plan. This can be due to the fact that cutting back on gluten can help other gastrointestinal symptoms that are unrelated to celiac disease. While this is shown to have benefits, cutting gluten is not without risks. Cutting gluten from your diet can result in calcium, fiber, and iron deficiencies, among others. Want to lose weight quick? Starve yourself. Repeat after me. Never do this. If you're new to the world of fitness, it's reasonable to assume that cutting food is the best way to drop weight. In reality, depriving your body of food is dangerous. While removing 50% of your intake can help you lose weight, it will also decrease your muscle mass by 5%. Over time, this will also decrease the size of your organs by 20%. When cutting calories, you need to be sure that you're not doing it too quickly. If your consumption is cut in half right away, your blood pressure will drop dramatically. This may also lead to dehydration, dizziness, weakness, and a slower heart rate. What you want to do is gradually lessen your portion size at the dinner table. Simply missing meals will make you feel tired and miserable. If you would like to learn more about having a happier outlook on life, check out our video on 9 Tips for Living Happily. Cardio is the key. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. I should be the one giving away health tips. Cardio is all you need, isn't it? 
If you're going for that smaller waistline, your first instinct may be to head outdoors for a run. It's no wonder. Regular workout routines can increase your life expectancy by seven years. You are 90% more likely to burn calories running than you are walking. But while good exercise is beneficial, many tend to subscribe solely to cardio as a way to lose weight. They don't realize that this is one of several ingredients to having a healthy body. Your diet is also crucial to this process. Did you know that a 200 pound person sheds an average of only 106 calories after one mile of jogging? At this rate, you wanna make sure that your menu's a little healthier. A steady diet of Big Macs and pizzas is not ideal for getting into shape. Yoga isn't real exercise. Those of you who aren't into yoga are probably nodding in agreement. However, if you do happen to practice the ancient art of downward dog, you might take offense to this notion. Yoga is an extremely significant exercise. There are actually several great poses that can help you shed pounds. These include the boat pose, the upward plank, and the warrior pose. We know, to an outsider, these positions might seem fairly dramatic. But truth be told, you don't realize how great they can be for your mental and physical state. The average yoga class lasts between 75 to 90 minutes. Depending on your body weight, 90 solid minutes of hot power yoga can burn up to 930 calories. For all you adrenaline junkies, you may want to think twice the next time you call yoga lame. Just drink your green tea and shut up. This one may prove to be the most divisive on our list. Green tea is among the most popular detox items on the market. Before we go any further, we'll say this. Yes, green tea is incredibly healthy. Containing several vitamins and minerals, the drink helps prevent tooth decay, maintains healthy skin, and lowers blood pressure. There is even some research to support that it helps cure cancers. But let's get real. Several myths about green tea just aren't accurate. For example, green tea does not burn away belly fat, at least not while acting alone. There are plenty of people who would love to think sitting back with a hot cup will just magically make your gut disappear. If that were true, the wizard who made the potion should be getting some serious royalty checks. In reality, you also need to be working physically for these results. Nobody simply loses fat by guzzling a drink. There's also a misconception that green tea boosts your metabolism. Unfortunately, this is also inaccurate. Green tea can increase your energy, which is helpful if you're looking to stay active. Try your best to have some green tea and head for a run outside. Diet Coke is a good replacement. Let's be honest, you knew at least some sort of diet drink was going to appear eventually. Diet Coke is among the most controversial soft drinks in existence. Try drinking it in a social circle without one of your friends yammering on about how it will one day kill you. Throughout the years, Diet Coke has been talked about in negative and positive light. And to be honest, there's inaccuracy on both ends. For instance, people trying to lose weight are made to believe the switch from regular Coke to diet is a way to go. Nope. Diet Coke has been proven to actually contribute to weight gain. Yes, Diet Coke is great if you are watching your calorie intake. The artificial sweetener found in the soda is one menacing ingredient. Once consumed, your pancreas mistakes it for sugar, releasing insulin. Since there's no actual sugar, your body becomes confused and messes up the metabolic process. While this may be a rude awakening for anyone who drinks diet soda as a replacement, look on the bright side. There is actually no confirmed link between Diet Coke and diabetes, something that was once widely reported. Will you change your fitness routine after watching this video? Sound off in the comments section and don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe for more amazing content from your bestie. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.